Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, providing the tools for you to manifest anything. You have the capabilities. All you have to do is recognize them, focus on them, and through quantum mechanics, you create that which you focus on. What is advanced manifesting? This is what we're going to do today. Advanced manifesting means that when you do focus on something, you realize you are not separate from it. This is what advanced means, at least on my channel. When you separate yourself from anything, you are not recognizing that you are the very power that manifests everything. And that even this physical body is just an illusion of what you created when you came here into this density. And so it appears to be separate, but is not. That power that you are, that came through into this body, playing out this role here in this illusion, all has to appear real. So therefore we believe that we are separate when in fact we are actually still the very power that came down into this planet in the first place. In other words, you are still your higher self that never separates from you. In other words, it's still in control, it's still operating, it's still all-knowing and has all capabilities but you are playing a human role. So how do we reconnect to that? How do we go into advanced manifesting? So I'm gonna share with you how you get into that space of super quantum advanced manifesting. Well, when you believe that you are that, then everything's easy. Now I've shared some secrets with you that are no longer a secret, obviously, that how am I manifesting? There's no block or barrier between that and which I desire. And no matter what happens, when you have total faith and you know that you're controlling everything, you're okay with how it shows up and what time period it shows up because you realize then at that point that there's so much more that we don't know as a human form, right? Lots going on over there that we really aren't aware of because it would take away the game. So you, you have to be okay with that when you place that manifesting uh, order, that manifestation order, then you have to know that it is done. You start to behave and think and operate like that person already has it. So you prepare for it. And you don't have rules. Rules mean that you think there's something separate and you didn't do it in the first place or that something stopped it or whatever. And then you have all of these doubts and then you project that into the quantum field, and then that's what you get, a block. That's a block and a barrier. So when I go after something, I know that I can do it. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do it or when it's going to transpire. So I continually place my focus on it, and then I continually take action toward it because I know that I'm being guided at every moment to achieve that goal. So I don't say, oh, well, I tried this and it didn't work. Oh, what's going on? I say, okay, I tried this. It's contributing toward that goal showing up in my, my supposed reality, my illusion. So when you have a block or a barrier, that's your disbelief and that's what you're creating. Advanced manifesting is when we eliminate that. We're not even dealing with that. So if you, you're still dealing with fear or you know you have a problem with other people or all this other stuff, that's not advanced manifesting. That's you creating the illusion of separatism and self and that whatever you need and desire is what is right. So you must, you must release that to go into that quantum space where there are no barriers. You must, because those are blocks. That's separating yourself from everything, from everything, because no other person is separate from you. We're all one energy just expressing itself in this illusion to experience itself in every possible situation, form, you name it. All right, when you accept that and know it, you're okay with it. And even when you get challenged by somebody who can be a jackass, you, real, you recognize that none of this is chaotic. It is all part of your game and part of your opportunity. Why you came here, it's not to be avoided. Why you came here is to move past that, to go into that higher level space, that higher self. Because that higher self doesn't have a problem with that person, no matter what they do. 
So, so many of you think you're going into a wakened state, and then as soon as somebody comes and disrupts your, you know, your peace, you go into the ego. So you just, it's, you're great, you're great. Everybody can be awakened when they're not challenged. So if you are being challenged and you are going back into the ego and finding that to be a problem, you're into separatism and you're not into the quantum advanced manifesting space. That space is that we are all equal students just experiencing things. It's like the family, you know, you get a little bit of everything in there. And when you love them, it doesn't matter. They can irritate you sometimes, but there's no thought or judgment behind it. It's just, that's who they are. So when you go into that space, you can now manifest whatever you focus on because there's no other thoughts or distractions about, they're doing this and they're the problem and I blame my parents and we go into all this stuff, right? And then we have all these excuses. Those are blocks and barriers that don't exist. That's a story you're telling yourself. Advanced manifesting means that you must start to work on every day going into the quantum space where there's no thoughts. There's nothing. Just nothing. So now you have this open field and then all you have to do is place a thought in there. Now I have a quantum super mega manifesting meditation. All right, so I'm going to shoot that right after here, so it should be coming out right about the time you're watching this. It should be available. I will actually talk you through. We're going to go into the quantum field, and I have these. I have other ones where we go into the quantum field, but this one, we're going to actually super focus on that quantum field, clearing things out, going into that space where you realize Everything else that you believe and think is a block, made-up story, not real. Because you are nothing but the pure essence of the one and you're limitless. Everything else is an illusion to be played out. Why is it an illusion? If you knew what you were at all times and you had all the answers, it wouldn't be real. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be something you could play out. You would never suffer or have any pain. It'd be no big deal, right? So then there would be no game to play if you realize that none of this is, is real. So it feels real to us. And even when we know that we are not this, we're still going through the motions and we must use this opportunity not to be avoided, but to go into it. Go into it. Okay, here's my situation. Anything can be changed. What am I going to gain from this situation from a spiritual standpoint? Because there's always a lesson. Am I finding other people at fault, which means I'm disempowering myself? Am I separating myself from other people? I'm disempowering myself and others because we're a collective. It's time to go into the advanced space, quantum space, to release all judgment, to release all whatever you believe is right, and it's right for you. Whatever you believe is true for you. It doesn't have to be true for other people because they equally have their own truth. Every single person, whatever you believe, is true. So you do not have to impose that on somebody, and that's the ego, and that is a block and a barrier. I have to be right, and your world, your quantum field is loaded with garbage. Just garbage, and it's negative. So you're going to a lower frequency, so you're manifesting from that space. It's time to get out of that space. So can you go into the mega quantum field with me, with no barriers? Of course you can. So this takes practice, and people will say, wow, that's better, easier said than done. Yeah, because we've been conditioned, so you must recondition yourself every single day. So I suggest you do that, that meditation. I actually talk before we go into it and then I talk throughout it and then I give you spaces of quiet time. And your focus on this every single day actually puts you onto the... So when you focus on it, you, you go into that space. So what happens after meditation, you don't come back out of it. You stay out there. So you're actually out in this super mega creative space and so stuff starts to show up. This is what happens for me. It's like once I go into that space, stuff starts to just 
show up because I'm in it. So if there's no thoughts, no negativity or whatever, you have a thought about something you desire, boom. All of a sudden, you get a phone call, or you get a sign, or something happens and you know that it's, it's starting to manifest. We're in a material world, so there's density here, which means that we have timelines that, illusion also, but we have timelines wherein things have to come together. Sometimes it involves other players. So let go of that and know that you're always exactly where you're supposed to be. Always. And when you, when you have any struggle or suffering at all, there's something else going on. It's, it's, not, it's not what's going on. It's not what that person's doing. And if you, if you go to somebody and you say, you need to do this and that because, because you think of something, then you are thinking that the world needs to or somebody needs to behave a certain way because of what you desire. Blocks, 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 blocks. Somebody wrote me and said, you know, way too many emails. And I said, you know, it's funny. You're the first person that said that everybody else loves them. So they're telling me that I shouldn't do something because they personally didn't like it. And this is how, this is how we treat the world. Those are all barriers and blocks. That's the ego saying the world has to be the way I believe it is, and I'm going to tell you to change. Instead of dealing with why am I feeling this way? Why do I need somebody else to behave or do a certain thing to make me feel good? Because I can't do it myself. So I believe. You can do everything yourself. You can be at peace. No one can, uh, an email, friggin' delete it. All right? Just delete it. So that's that, that is that really negative thinking that is stuck in frivolous garbage, which we do all day. All day long it's going on in your head. Clear out the garbage and open up to that space. And nothing, will ha no, nothing can affect you. And if you go into that space where there's some fear, we're all going to feel that. You'll experience it. A lot of times with money. People worry about money in the future. You know, relationships. They worry about the relationships. You know, am I going to have somebody? Does it have to be that person? Go, you go into this space and, and it's letting go of that is not an easy task. But you can do it. You're always in control, even when you don't think you are. That means every thought's manifesting. So if you go into a space of irritation or your ego's in charge, you're manifesting absolutely everything. So everything in your life that you don't like, you're doing through those thoughts. All right, so go into your advanced manifesting and really work on this. Do my, uh, you can do any one of my quantum field manifesting meditations because I help you to clear those thoughts out. And only meditation will help you do that because when you're walking around and you're having to think and function, it's, uh, it's difficult. But when you go into meditation, you go out, you'll find yourself not thinking that much. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. You are not separate from anything. Don't allow your ego to impose what it believes on anything or anyone else. Look inside and ask yourself, if peace is missing from there, then you need to find it in a good way. And the N word in a good way. Namaste.